Well, 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 well. Welcome back to the Reggae News Network channel. Reggae Sunfest 2023 has come to a close. And on the internet, there are thousands of reviews about the show and the performances. So we won't go into that. Today, we will focus on the two headliners, Tommy Lee and Minister Marion Hall. The topic, good versus evil and the battle for the soul of reggae music. Minister Marion Hall, formerly known as Lady Saw, hails from the parish of St. Mary. She came to Kingston as a teenager with the hopes of making it big in the music business, but at first had to struggle around the sewing machines at the Kingston Free Zone until she met Sagittarius bass player Derek Barnett. Barnett was the first to work with Saw on a serious level. By 1993 though, she hit it big with two raunchy singles, If Him Left and Stab Out The Meat. The third single, Worthy For Airplay, Please Send A Miracle, made her into a household name. After which, she would have a spectacular career, an uninterrupted reign of over 25 years as the biggest female dancehall DJ Jamaica has ever seen, culminating in a triple platinum single, a feature on American bands, no doubt, underneath it all. After going unchallenged for over two decades, Lady Saw, on December 2015, underwent a baptism and announced that she would be retiring from dancehall music and from henceforth would be addressed as Minister Marion Hall and would begin a career as a gospel artist. Tommy Lee Sparta hails from the parish of St. James. Coming from the rough neighborhood of Flankers, he began his musical career in 2007. But after hooking up with supreme leader of the new school of dancehall, Vibes Cartel in 2010, was when his career started to take off in a major way. Racking up hits such as Psycho, Some Boy, and Wander Me Up, his career kept going and going. The first dancehall DJ to announce his own brand, Gothic Dancehall, which means he is the first artist to appropriate the genre of heavy metal to Jamaican music. Tommy Lee Sparta, known as a purveyor of dark themes, often with a demonic twist and an element of Satanism. But with fame came personal problems arrested in 2014 for involvement in a lottery scam in Montego Bay, and again in 2021 on a case of unlawful possession of a firearm for which he was tried and convicted and sentenced to three years in prison. The 30th staging of Reggae Sumfest is somewhat of a return for both headliners. Lady Saw, who retired from dance hall in 2015 when she converted to Christianity, which was the last time she graced the Sumfest stage, and Tommy Lee Sparta, who was recently released from prison after spending the better part of two years. It was a triumphant return for both headliners, both delivering spirited and fiery performances. But there is where the similarity ends. Minister Marion All on night two as the closing act came as a messenger of Christ 
giving away hundreds of Bibles, preaching the gospel, scolding the scammers and calling out political corruption up to the very top, even name dropping the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Her scintillating set saw her displaying all her lyrical and performance progress she has been known for over the years. But this time, delivering, working for the Lord. Tommy Lee Sparta, on the other hand, was up to his old diabolical self, repeatedly screaming pure badness, evil, and legion as if he was trying to summon all the dark forces of hell. Viewers and subscribers, it seems this is a battle for the soul of, of reggae music itself. Viewers and subscribers, good versus evil, which side is winning? This is Roger Grant for Reggae News Network.